So good afternoon, my name is Morgan Grindle and I'm a junior and a business administration major. So this summer I had an internship at a company called Automation Direct, which is located in Cumming, Georgia, so about 45 minutes north of here. And I was a direct marketing intern, so I got to experience something a little different than what we learned in the classroom. And so Automation Direct began in 1994 as PLC Direct, selling just PLCs, which I'll explain to you in a second. But as the automotive industry grew, so did our company and so did our needs. And in 1999, as you can see here, we expanded to Automation Direct selling like all of your automated parts and all your needs. And now, this was of 2014, our catalog was massive. So a PLC is a programmable logic controller, which is like a ruggedized computer basically that controls industrial automation. And so it's used to automate your processes, machine functions, and even an entire assembly line, if that's what you're looking for, it's meant to replace like your low skill workers. So this is our main campus, which is in Cumming, Georgia, and it's a mostly online, like our, we have our online catalog, and that's where most of our transactions take place, but this is filled with all of our warehouse workers and then all of your account, accountants, your marketing, everyone else that works in-house. And so they're actually one of the largest employers in the private sector for Scythe County. So I was a direct marketing intern, and direct marketing is like your direct communication with your customers. And so I was involved with calling, leaving voicemails, emails, postcards, letters, all that like kind of annoying stuff. <coughs> That's what we did to target our customers, to get our name out there, things like that. And so this is the process that we used at Automation Direct, and I was involved either partially or directly in each of these things. And from company to company, direct marketing varies just based on your needs and what you're looking for. And so this is kind of a little overview of what is, I was involved in, and I'll explain to you my duties uh, right after this. And so I was involved with our direct mailing list, so I would collect our contact information and separate our better from our best customers and send them what they're targeted. And I would also send out thank you cards because we truly believe it's important to have a great relationship with your uh, accounts. And when they see that you appreciate them, they're more likely to come back. And so building on that relationship, we sent out welcome kits so I would like package and label and make sure they're sent out to all of our new customers because one, it's building a relationship and two, it's a free chance to get a little bit of our logo out there, a new name so people can see what we're up to. And it's good for the industrial automation because that's a little bit different than what people are used to. So my duties with Excel were like collecting and cleaning out our databases, connecting it with Redpoint, which was our system. And it was very beneficial because you don't really get a lot of Excel. We use it in business analytics, but you don't get that experience until you're actually using it in an internship. So it was cool to see how that kind of correlated. And I also helped with our direct mailing. So what we would do is go through our company or our accounts and see what they were most popularly purchasing. And so, for example, this company was most interested in a Fiji Electric. So we would send them a postcard geared to what they're purchasing with either a promotion or a discount or whatever they're looking for, just kind of correlating things. And so I was also on a team that developed a contest for a free PLC. And so it was just the most creative idea, won a free PLC, went through a list of judges and things like that. And actually the winner used the PLC to automate a alpaca heating lamp for their mating season. So it's, I mean, it's used for everything. And I also had some duties uh, with social media. I got to work with our team, which is not exactly direct marketing, but it's definitely important in marketing. And so I use like Facebook and Instagram to show our product, get out promotions, things like that. It's just everyone's on social media, so it's the easiest platform to reach everybody with. And it was cool to see how everything I learned in the classroom kind of transformed and was used in the real world. Like I already mentioned, business analytics, you have to have Excel. Like Excel is so essential, you don't realize it until you're there. And then uh, core, because you have to know how to write, you have to be able to communicate with people, and even economics so that I can contribute to our uh, pricing things. <laughs> <laughs> so giving you all a little, <laughs> giving you a basis of what my internship was like, I would just like to say how important it is that you go out and you do find an internship. It's great experience, hands-on experience, things that you just can't get in the classroom. You get to meet some great people, you get to develop as a person, and building on meeting people, um, Everyone has a great story. They have, they're full of knowledge. 
and you just get to build connections with people. So maybe it's not my boss, but it's my boss's wife owns a company that I'm going to work for one day in the future. And so having that relationship with him is a personal connection with her. <coughs> so it just it really helps to network. And it sets yourself apart because coming out of college, I mean, let's be real, we basically all look the same. We have a four-year degree, whatever. But if you have that internship, one, they see that you care enough to go out and get an internship. And two, it's real-world experience. I mean, it's just a great resume booster. And I would definitely recommend doing it if you have the opportunity. Go, go find yourself an internship. And you also get to feel for the 8 to 5, Monday through Friday work schedule, which is a big deal <laughs> because, you know, as a nanny, you're not on that schedule. Working at Chick-fil-A, you're not on that schedule. It's an actual workplace environment. And it was really beneficial for me just to see what it was like. It's really slapping. But um, that was definitely a, a growing point for me. And I have to take a look at my goals. Short term, I've always known you graduate and get a job. I mean, that's, that's expected of your short term. But being in the workplace, you kind of see what's necessary for the long term. And so you're looking at, wow, I want to be the company I'm going to be at for the next 10 years. Or I'm looking for those great benefits, the flexible work hours, all those things that us millennials are bringing in. And you also get that hands-on experience. You get to, as people have said earlier, learn how to ask questions in the appropriate way. You get to build a relationship with your superiors. You get to have meetings with those CEOs or your team lead or whoever it may be. It's just a great opportunity to grow yourself as a person before it really counts. You get to mess up a little bit and it's just an internship. And so this is my little cubicle where I got to work and um, I had a great time. And I would definitely recommend it. Go, go apply. If you don't get it the first time, keep trying. It's okay. And um, it was just a great hands-on experience. And if you have a chance, go ahead and do it. <laughs>